What's up, everybody? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day. And I want to thank you guys for joining me here. And I really, really appreciate your continued love and support. It really, really means a lot. I want to thank everybody for the love that you've been sharing in the comment section as well. Um, the likes you've been giving for, for the channel. And by you guys joining the family as well. I really, really appreciate everything. Um... Today's going to be a different type of reading. Um, this came into my, this just popped into my head, you know. It's about an ex who doesn't want to let you go, you know. I know, yeah, y'all know how this is, that in, in these readings that we be doing, we always have, like, an ex showing up, popping up, you know. Um, an ex popping up in the reading all the time, especially when you guys want like something new and you want this person just to leave you alone, right? And today's reading is going to be messages from that ex. Like the ex wants to say something, you feel me? We're going to let them say what they want to say so that maybe we'll be able to find closure in this situation also uh, um, to cut these energetic cords and maybe still attached. We want to see what's going on. Uh, what the energy is around you guys and just get some messages, you know, like why is this person still holding on? What are they thinking? You know what I'm saying? Because they're I'm getting that there's uh, exes in the collective who are just and maybe this is because it's being is retrograde Maybe that's why you feel me, but exes are popping up thinking about you You know wanting to contact you all this stuff. But yeah, we're gonna have three different groups The first group is gonna be the red candle second group is the white candle third group is gonna be the purple candle you can pause the video, see which one of those resonates the most with you. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get into uh, group number one with the red candle. Where can I put these candles? I don't know. Put them there. Hopefully they stay. Okay, you guys. So if you guys have selected the red candle, it's going to be your reading. We're going to see what your ex wants to say. Okay, I'm gonna be using the X deck by Moon Moth Goddess, and I'm also gonna be using uh, messages from your divine love karmic edition by Twin Flame Journey 11. Okay, and her website is heartandsoulhealings.com. Okay, and you can find Moon Moth Goddess here on YouTube as well. Okay, for her decks. So let's see what we got. Group number one. What is your ex? You know what? First, before I start this, let me do some their feelings. Let's check their feelings, okay? And let's check the energy around this person, this, this situation with you two. I'm all over the place, I know it, but yo. Freestyling it, freestyling, freestyling. Let's check the energy. What's the energy around you guys right now? Luxury. So I see that you guys are focusing on yourselves. You guys are focusing on your own abundance. Okay, you're focusing on your own money, right? You're focusing on yourself. You feel me? So let's see what else we got. What we got with the... Ooh, I wanted to take uh, feelings. Let's do some feelings. Distracted. Okay, this person feels distracted right now. Maybe because they're focusing or they need to focus on money as well. Okay. Pity, okay? This person is feeling is feeling pity for the situation. Maybe they felt like they've done something wrong and they feel like they need to to fix something, right? What else we got here? Or they're feeling pitiful, you feel me? I don't know. We got patronizing on the bottom of the deck. The person may feel patronizing towards like they like they feel like they they've a part of them may feel like they've done something wrong, you know, in this situation, or they feel like they played a part in how things went between uh, you guys uh, at the ending of this connection, okay? They feel triumphant, okay, maybe because they are achieving something in their life. There's a feeling of desperation, maybe to clear something up from the past. They feel indulgent, okay? They feel indulgent, which is like, you know, they're wanting to, you know, 
I'm hearing that this person wouldn't mind having um, relations with you. You feel me? And this person may feel insulted. Like maybe you didn't take them for granted. Okay. Or maybe you took them for granted and they feel alive. So they feel alive when thinking about this connection as well. Like they would like to get like, like to for old time sakes. Like I said, it's probably the uh, Venus retrograde. I don't know how to fix us. I feel so lost right now. What else we got? I blame myself for our problems. See what I'm talking about? It's like they feel, part of them feels like they're at fault for something. And so, They're feeling a bit of remorse, like they they like they they have something to apologize for, or something to clear up. You are on my mind 24/7. I need more time to think about things. Okay, let's switch decks. Tell us about group number one. I am coming to offer you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, see, I'm telling you, like, when I got indulgent right here, they're just telling me that this person, they still want to have relations with you. You feel me? They're not over it. And it says they're feeling desperate right now, desperate to have a, a, a connection with you again, okay? I am coming to offer you love. Despite what may come out of my mouth, I do love you. Everywhere I go, I'm reminded of you, okay? Wow. All right. That is interesting, you guys. Let's see what needs to be surrendered within this connection and what needs to be worked on. Surrender to non-action. It says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Wow. So there's some sort of, if there's something that needs to be, uh, some loose ends that need to be tied, some, 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 uh, what do you call it? Mm. What do you call it? Some closure that needs to be had in this situation. Let the person come to you. You don't go to them. Okay. What else we got here? Okay. It says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. So go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. Okay. What else we got going on here? We got differences. You guys are on different pages and that, that, that may have been what's caused uh, the breakup in the first place. You know what I'm saying? You guys go your separate ways because you guys were not on the same page. And then maybe people were not trying to compromise with each other. You feel me? Deep in love. But the feelings between you guys run deep. Um, if it's not from your side, then it's from the other person's side. You just take what applies, okay? But the feelings run deep in this connection. It's not like some puppy love kind of thing. It is the, the feelings run deep. And that's probably why... Um, the person that cannot stop thinking about you. Ultimatum. That person may be, oh, yeah. Look, so this person is going to contact you, right? We had that. We had that. Um, I'm coming to offer you love. So your person, your ex, is going to come back into your life, okay? For this group. They're going to contact you or have some sort of communication where your text message taunts, uh Phone call, DM, something like that, whatever it is. Word of mouth, hell, who knows? Motherfucking carrier pigeon, I don't know. But um, this person is going to contact you, and they're going to present you with an ultimatum. And tell you, like, hey, it's now or never. You want to be with me or you don't want to be with me. So that's going to be the gist or, you know, of the, um, the summary of the, the interactions that's going to take place or what they want to get off their chest towards you guys, okay? Let's give you some advice.
take responsibility for your actions, okay? Take responsibilities for the part that you played in this connection, okay? Whether it was for the good or for the bad, just take responsibilities for it, you know? Own up to whatever part you played in this connection, okay? And then we have stop making excuses for people and learn the power of no, all right? So that's what I got for you guys for this group, okay? Um, if you like the video, if you like the reading, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated, comment down in the comment section and let me know how you feel about it. We're going to move on to group number uh, two. You guys have selected the white candle. This is going to be your reading. We're going to see what your ex wants to say to you now, or what messages your ex has for you now. Let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. Let's check this person's feelings. How is group number two's ex feeling about them right now? Numb. They're feeling numb to this situation. They're not feeling anything. I'm hearing this person is going this. Oh, I'm already getting this person's going in and out of those feelings. Okay. Excuse me, uh, disconnected. Damn, they feeling disconnected from the situation. They feel numb, disconnected, mischievous. Mm. So on the bottom of the deck, we have rejected. Let me see, disappointed. Okay. Comfortable. So your ex feels comfortable the way that things are, right? They still think about you, you know what I'm saying? But they feel comfortable with what's happened between you guys and with what where this connection has gone so far. They feel disconnected from the, their feelings are disconnected. They feel numb to the situation, okay? They feel like you rejected them, okay? And they feel disappointed at the way that things have gone, okay? It's like this person is getting over it, but they're still a part of them. They're still thinking about you, okay? But it's like the feelings have changed, you know what I'm saying, somewhat. And now this person is feeling mischievous, so it's kind of like they 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 feel like they want to do something um, or get you back in some kind of way, some sort of revenge or something like that. Mm. Ooh, all these fell out. Okay. Shy, competitive, platonic love. So they their love for you has changed from romantic to platonic. Okay, they feel competitive right now, like they're competing with you, or they need to compete with other people. They're feeling shy towards you they admire you guys they're feeling withdrawn and they got love for you so they got love for you but it's more so like a platonic love and they feel fearful towards this connection okay so i got this person is not feeling good towards this connection at all okay let's get some messages <clears throat> What is uh, group number two's person want to say? I'm working on myself. I'm sorry we couldn't hold our relationship together. I will be ending a commitment to be with you. What? Our relationship may be broken beyond repair. I am not completely happy with my life right now. I cannot walk away from the karmic yet. 
I regret walking away for the karmic. I feel bad about the poor choices that I made in the past. The karmic is physically abusing me. Oh, wow. That's different. Mm. That's different. Uh, let me pull uh, a message from here. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Let's see what other energy is around this. What sums up this connection right now. Forgiveness. Wow. Forgiveness and marriage. Wow. <clears throat> I'm hearing forgive the person for not being able to, to commit to you or not being able to give you what you wanted in your relationship or your connection. Some of you guys may have may have been married to this person. Uh, some of you guys may have been in a long-term connection with this person. This person uh, disappointed you. You know, this person promised you the moon, the stars, the ocean, but they couldn't, they couldn't give, they didn't deliver on it. They promised that you guys will be together. They, you guys had a plan together, but they, they left that for somebody else. But now it's time for you guys to forgive this person. You feel me? And move on and forgive yourself for whatever part that you played in this situation as well. Let's see what you need to surrender. What else you need to surrender? Surrender frustration. This person may still frustrate you guys. <clears throat> frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Surrender frustration, being frustrated with this connection, as being frustrated to what happened, how it happened. You know, it's like, let it go. Let's see what else, what other energies we have here. Somebody may feel ashamed about what they've done, okay? Yeah, this was a third party connection. This was a third party connection. You were not the only one involved with this person. That karma could have been already involved with this person when you guys were together, okay? Yeah, this was a dysfunctional connection. This, this was highly toxic. For some of you guys, this could have been a violent, you know, um, connection, okay? Or this could be uh, um, indicative of you guys were not violent. This could be what, what your person is going through with the karmic right now, you know? Because it says the karmic is physically abusing me. So this person could have themselves involved with that karmic, you feel me? And that karmic could be, you know, whipping on them, you feel me? It is what it is, you feel me? Yep, interference moving in in on your territory so this karmic while you were together this person allowed this person to tempt them out of your connection you feel me and now it's kind of like they reaping what they what they sow like it's like yo you thought the grass was greener you went over there you left me for this person and now they beating your ass you feel me i'm i'm not you know ordering the court you know what i'm saying i'm just being real with it you feel me you made your bed, now you gotta lie in it, you feel me? Sometimes it's like the grass, sometimes people are like, you are a diamond and they leave you for a cubic zirconia, and then it's like, they find out like, damn, I made a mistake, but it'd be like, it's too late, you feel me? Isolation, staying to yourself. Yeah, you guys are like, staying to yourself from this person, like you're not, like you're just like, I'm cool, like I don't wanna, I don't even wanna deal with this anymore, you know? Dangerously in love. This person could have this, this, this karmic is a piece of work. This karmic is a piece of work. Both of these things, we got guns. So hell, I'm just like, yo, stay away from this person. It is what it is. Stay away from them. Cause that person already is claiming their territory and is like, yo, you mine? And then you physically abusing the, whoa, bro, sis. Yo. But this person is keeping tabs on you from afar because that's all they could do because this person may be, you know, putting them hands on them, 
drawing guns on them, drawing knives on them, anything like that, letting them know, hey, you better not step out of line. So all they could do is watch you from afar. You know, all they could do is that's, this is all they could do. They can't do nothing else. And this person feels that they made a, a huge mistake, you know? Stick with the choices you make is an advice for you guys. Are you dumbing yourself down to fit in? So you guys may not even be on the same page, you feel me? You guys are not like equally yoked, are you? You're not on the same frequency. It says you made the wrong decision. I don't know what that decision was. I don't know if you guys were, I don't know what it is. You guys know better than me. Somebody made the wrong decision. Do you feel you deserve the best? Y'all gotta know that you deserve better than this, okay? And it says curiosity killed the cat. Some of you guys may be entertaining this person, okay? Some of you guys may be thinking about coming back to this person. You better think twice, you feel me? But it's up to you. Y'all do what y'all wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all grown. Y'all do what y'all want to do, but I'm just letting you know that this person very well may be connected to a karmic who is highly toxic and highly violent and get physical. You feel me? Do y'all want them problems? You feel me? Is it worth it at the end of the day? Do you think you could do better than this person? You know, those are questions that you have to ask yourself. So... That was your reading. If you like it, like the video. If it uh, resonated, comment down in the comment section. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And also for this too, it, uh, another message was like, um, some of y'all may want to may wanna talk to the person again just to see for all. Oh, back down memory lane is what I'm getting. So I was like, y'all got to really think about that, okay? I don't know where that came from, but that snuck its, snuck its way in, okay? So... We're gonna move on to the purple candle, 2211. So if you guys have selected the purple candle, we are going to see what message your ex has for you. Let's get the overall energy here. What's the overall energy between them two? Illusions. This is there's a bunch of illusions regarding this connection. Illusions regarding a marriage. Illusions regarding a long term connection. That's that might have been the energy that you guys were in at the time. Okay. Let's get their feelings for you. Curious. This person is curious about what you got going on in your life. Curious about what you're doing, who you're doing it with, how you're doing it. This person wants to break something up that you got going on, too. This person feels betrayed, that you betrayed them. Whether whether you betrayed them or not, that's how they feel. They feel their spirits are low regarding this connection. Too many cards. They're anticipating a reunion with you guys, okay? Are they anticipating talking to you or something, some event taking place? They feel conflicted. They don't know what to do. They feel confused. They don't know what to do. They feel discouraged. They don't know what to do. You feel me? What else we got here? You hurt me really badly. This person feels like you betrayed them. You hurt them really badly. Uh, maybe they felt like you fed them a lie. You, were, you weren't who you said you were supposed to be, you know? It says, I still love you. Our feelings are mutual. I am holding myself back. I feel myself drifting further and further away from you. Let's get one more. And I'll switch. Ooh. Okay, we'll take all five of those. Six of those. One fell on the floor. 
I took you for granted. I screwed up. I fantasize about you. You were the best sex I've ever had. I feel so connected to your energy. I feel trapped in my current situation. I want to hear your voice. Let's see what else we got. My karmic is batshit crazy. Yeah, that's why. That's why the person feels trapped in their current situation because it says the person that they're with is batshit crazy. I walked away from the karmic already. So this person may still be stalking them or holding on to them. I am scared for my, yep, see what I'm talking about? It says, I'm scared for my safety. Wow, yo, so this karmic could be stalking them. They could have left, walked away from the karmic, but the karmic ain't letting them go. The karmic is holding on to them. This is kind of giving me vibes of the group number two. You feel me? Like this person, they hooked up with the wrong person. They got connected with the wrong person here. Okay, it says the karmic made me blind to our connection and I worry about not having enough money for us and it's causing delays. So I feel like this person is also causing them a lot of stress in their life as well. Mm. What else we got here? We got look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Yeah, this person is reminiscing. Reminiscing on a good time that y'all had. Reminiscing like that how you were not batshit crazy like this person that they connected. They connected with the wrong person is what I'm getting. You know? And they, they know that they didn't have that kind of they didn't have them kind of problems with you, you feel me? It says surrender to your soul's path. It says your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your, your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson in every moment. So it's just telling you right now, what, needs to, what you need to surrender to is your soul's path. What's, what's meant for you to go through on a spiritual level, you know? Let's see what else we got here. Confidence, faith in your abilities. You need to have confidence and faith in your own personal abilities. Outside of a connection with somebody else, this person may be keeping their feelings or keeping whatever is going on within them a secret, right? They don't want you to know what's going on. You feel me? We got twin. We got twin flame. This could have been your quote unquote twin flame. You guys were triggering each other, triggering growth within each other. Okay. Drama. There's always something with this person. This person has connected themselves to somebody else also bringing extra drama into your life. So if you guys were thinking about partnering back with this person, you really want to think about that because this person comes with a lot of with a lot of issues, with a lot of drama, okay? They're not going to come like empty-handed and they're not going to come peacefully. It's going to come with, with a lot of baggage connected with a crazy-ass mofo as well, okay? Magic, anything is possible. So this connection can actually go any, any way, you feel me? Like, if you want it to work out, you could work. I mean, if, well, if you want to get back with this person, you can get back with this person. But like I said, it's coming with some drama and it's coming with some secrets. Some stuff you don't know about. Some additional baggage, okay? But yeah, if you want to move on from this person, you can do that. You probably already have moved on. But if you've not, if you want to completely cut the cord between you guys and you, and you move on to find somebody else who's more healthy for you, then you can do that as well, okay? You guys may have a new connection coming coming in, okay? It says engagement, I make this promise to you. 
or your person could come back and try to uh hmm. your person could try to come back and, and have an engagement with you but there's a promise that's coming through you have the real deal this is a real thing and secret feelings keeping it all inside so this is kind of giving me the the kind of um this is giving me the <clears throat> The feeling that this is a brand new connection that could be coming through. You could go back to this, your old person. And it's going to bring with a lot of drama and secrets. You know, a lot of triggering. A lot of, this is just a whole dramatic situation. Or you guys can manifest a new person. And that new person is going to be the one that gives you the engagement. Makes that promise to you. And they're actually the real deal. You feel me? Right? And this it could be somebody that's around you right now already who has secret feelings for you. All right. So let's get some um, advice. It says learn the power of yes. Wow. Sometimes you got to say yes to all you got to do is say yes. Sometimes you got to say yes to the new. You feel me? You got to say yes to the new because somebody could be like holding back is what I'm getting because they don't know how you feel about them, you know. But this person could be the real deal. You feel me? Someone who could offer you long term stability, you know. But it says learn the power of saying yes. Stop making excuses for yourself. You have learned your lessons already. Hell yeah, you learned your lessons with this person already. You know, you don't have to keep you don't have to go through it again. Dream as big as you can. Yeah, because you guys, y'all got what it takes. Y'all got the magic. You can transform your situation how you want to transform it, right? You can manifest who the type of person that you want to manifest in your life. But if you manifest this past person, your ex, drama, you need to think about it again. Trust your vibes in this situation, okay? That's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, like the video. If it resonated with you guys, comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it. And I wish you guys all the best, and thank you guys for being here as well, all right? Much love and light to everybody. Y'all take care. Ciao.